The final game of the 2020 season, Super Bowl 55, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the hometown favorites, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is the first Super Bowl where both quarterbacks have won a Super Bowl MVP and NFL MVP award as well. Patrick Mahomes could join Tom Brady as the only two quarterbacks to win two Super Bowls in their first four seasons. Great matchup that we've got. And a lot of people predicted this to be their preseason matchup as well between the Chiefs and the Buccaneers. Given that the Chiefs, their journey, if we want to talk about them first, second straight Super Bowl appearance would have been third. I 100% honestly believe that if the Chiefs went to the Super Bowl in 2018, that they would have won and they would have beat the Rams and now they'd be playing for what would have been their third straight Super Bowl championship. Instead, they lost to Tom Brady and the New England Patriots at that time. The game went into overtime. There was a pre-snap penalty that uh, kept the Patriots on the field in overtime, and, and eventually they were able to score, go on to the Super Bowl, win it all. Patrick Mahomes never had a chance at the ball in overtime. But the Chiefs are playing for their second straight Super Bowl, and this could be the meaning of a next uh, big dynasty after the New England Patriots dynasty has what we presume to have ended at this point. For the Buccaneers, they started off 7-5. and five. Listen, in the preseason, it, it, we have to go back to that. Tom Brady signed in the offseason. All of these big stars come into the, into the mix when Tom Brady signs. Leonard Fournette wants to sign after he gets released by the Jaguars. Antonio Brown later on in the season wants to sign and play with Tom Brady. So all these players and all these stars want to play for Tampa Bay, but they started off 7-5, and five, and it looked like that this season would have been a little bit of a disappointment given all the hype that you had going into the 2020 season. Well, that game against the Chiefs is what got them to 7-5. and five. Tony Romo makes an unbelievable prediction like he always does and says that the Chiefs and the Buccaneers are going to play in the Super Bowl. 7-5, and five, have that bye week after the Chiefs lost, and then all of a sudden never lost a game since. Goes 11-5, and five, wins out in the postseason on the road, and now they're playing at home in their stadium for Super Bowl 55. Let's take a look at some team comparisons to kind of break down the matchup and kind of give you guys a feel of where each team stands as far as how good their offense and their defense are. Let's start off with the Kansas City Chiefs. Looking at their offense to start off with, they're ranked first in pass offense, 16th in the run. Sixth in the NFL in points per game, 14th if you want to talk about pass defense, and then 21st in rush defense. So their defense is kind of mediocre. Their offense has been uh, the bread and butter of this Super Bowl appearance. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, talk about them. Their offense right behind the Kansas City Chiefs as far as pass offense. The Chiefs are ranked first. The Bucs are ranked second. But it's a little lopsided when you talk about the pass offense versus the rush offense. Second in pass but 28th in rush offense. They've got to get Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette their healthy amount of carries and get the ball moving. Points per game, second in the NFL, much better than the Chiefs. Pass defense, this is where it's been lacking for the Buccaneers and has been attributed to the reason why they've been 7-5 and because of their 21st ranked pass defense and then the rush defense. No question about it. Their rush defense, they do not need to be concerned about that with one of the better defensive lines in the NFL with Jason Pierre-Paul, Nadama Kongsu, and all those good guys uh, on that defensive line first in the NFL. Let's look at the comparison between the two quarterbacks that are playing. You've got the what people label as the GOAT versus the kid, Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes. Uh, talking about Mahomes, passing yards, 4,700 yards passing, 38 passing touchdowns to only six interceptions, 66% of his passes completed, 108.2 quarterback rating, as opposed to Tom Brady, 4,600 yards passing, 40 touchdowns to 12 interceptions, 65.7 passes up of his passes completed, and 102.2 quarterback rating. We expect this to be a pass-heavy game. We don't expect anything less than that. We expect them to go back and forth. And what matters in a pass-heavy game are your weapons. Looking at the wide receiver comparison, if you want to talk about the big targets that each of these players have, their number one targets, Mahomes and Brady, you've got Tyreek Hill and Mike Evans, the wide receivers of each respected team. For the Chiefs, Tyreek Hill, 87 receptions, 1,200 yards receiving, 15 touchdowns, 14.7 yards per reception and 
percent uh, catch percentage, meaning that the targets versus the receptions that he had, he caught 64% of them versus Mike Evans, who is a little bit lower than Tyreek Hill as far as uh, statistics go. 70 receptions, 1,006 yards receiving, 13 touchdowns, 14.4 yards per reception, and then catch percentage, 64.2. Now, even though his stats might be a little bit lower than Tyreek Hill, that could be attributed to a lot of things as far as Brady liking to spread the ball around a lot. A lot of good targets like Antonio Brown, who stepped it up late in the season. Chris Godwin as well. Rob Gronkowski, Cameron Brait now emerging as that tight end one. For Tyreek Hill, it's pretty much him at the wide receiver position. Yeah, you've got Travis Kelsey to kind of split targets with, but it's pretty much just Hill and Kelsey at that point. But both of them, great red zone targets if you want to talk about Mike Evans, especially, I believe in the last five, six, seven years, has been targeted more than any other player in the red zone. Mike Evans has, so a great red zone target on top of that. What are the keys to victory for each team? Because you got to talk about how can each team pick up a victory and win the Super Bowl. Let's start off with the Kansas City Chiefs. Their keys to victory. First off, zone blitz often. The reason they play it is because it gives a quarterback uh, more time in the pocket to really read the zone and see where each of the defenders are to try to find that open window so they can uh, throw the ball into that open window. So if you apply a lot of pressure on Tom Brady as far as uh, giving him the ball in his hands for so long and you send a blitz as well, all of a sudden that's going to pressure Tom Brady and he's going to have to throw it out quick meaning that the zone defense could intercept the ball, could cause a turnover, fumble, whatever it may be. But zone blitz is what the New York Giants have used uh, when they won against Tom Brady in the Super Bowl in 2007 and 2011. Uh, The second key to victory for the Kansas City Chiefs, as far as the offense goes, the pass-run ratio has to be at least 60 to 40. So what does that mean? That means you're going to have to pass the ball a lot. This defense is the best team in the NFL against the run. Clyde edwards helaire Le'Veon Bell, great talents. Darrell Williams as well has been very underrated. But you're not really going to do much against the best run defense in the NFL. So you're going to have to pass the ball a lot, at least a 60 to 40% share. I wouldn't be surprised if you make it more 70 to 30. And that be... Uh, your game plan and give the ball to Patrick Mahomes and give it to him to lead your team to victory. As far as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, what are their keys to victory? Number one, you have to prioritize Travis Kelsey guarding him over Tyreek Hill. You can't let Tyreek Hill burn you. I understand he got 200 yards and uh, three touchdowns in that game that they had against the Buccaneers in week 12. But if you prioritize Travis Kelsey, that will make a big difference because what Patrick Mahomes likes to do on 3rd and 10, 3rd and 15, when the moment counts, when it matters the most, in the middle of the field, Travis Kelsey is his go-to guy to try to get that yardage and try to get that first down. If you try to double cover Travis Kelsey, you're going to eliminate that threat and you're going to have to force the ball to other targets such as Tyreek Hill. And then it's a big drop-off from there with Miko Hardman and other receivers that they have. So if you prioritize covering Travis Kelsey. He's a silent assassin. He's going to rack up yards and rack up receptions slowly and surely. And then all of a sudden, he has eight receptions for 100 yards and a touchdown. You cannot let that happen. Cover Travis Kelsey. And the number two, another defensive key to victory, force Patrick Mahomes to make quick throws. That's what matters. We talked about Travis, uh, Tom Brady. Try to make him throw some quick throws as well. Apply that pressure. The best way to make him throw the ball out quick It's a blitz. That would be your best option. With that defensive line, you don't have to be worried about that. But they beat the Packers. 14 points came off of turnovers in that victory against the Packers. And that was because they blitzed Aaron Rodgers and caused him to throw the ball out quick. He had nowhere to throw it, had to throw incomplete passes, had to throw the ball away, get the ball out of Patrick Mahomes' hands, and that's to blitz Patrick Mahomes and make him throw some quick throws and get that ball out of there pretty quick. But those are the keys to victory for each team. So what we like to do with each of these game previews, we like to ask polls on Instagram. Get your thoughts. Ask you, the Town of Football fans, who do you believe is going to win the Super Bowl? So it's pretty close, 51 to 49 in favor of the Bucs. From what people say, this is going to be a very, very close game. And it's going to be exciting, which we expect as well. We expect this game to come down to the wire. But 49% of you believe that it's the Chiefs that's going to win. But 51 believe that the Buccaneers are going to win a Super Bowl in their home stadium and Tom Brady is going to win yet again 
another Super Bowl, his seventh Super Bowl in his already remarkable career. Leave your thoughts and leave your comments down below. What are your predictions as far as who do you think is going to win the game, but also Super Bowl MVP? Is it going to be Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, or is it going to be a non-quarterback? Maybe even a defensive player as well. Leave your comments, leave your thoughts, leave your opinions, and interact with us down below.